Hello there, Mr. Patrick Maitland. It's 1.30 in the morning and my taxi's just arrived. Sorry about taping over the action, but I thought, instead of yet another tape of boring old sex in your cupboard, it might be useful for me to give you a bit of a critique. <laughs> Let's start at the very beginning. Kissing and tongues. You've certainly got one of those, haven't you? <laughs> the epiglottis, Patrick, tucked away at the back of the throat, is a very important organ. Not a goal. <laughs> OK? Now, nipples. You like those, don't you? Which is great, which is lovely. They're lots of fun. They go in and out a bit, don't they? Got a bit of extension going on there. <laughs> Thing is, Patrick, though they do go in and out a bit, Though they do extend, what they don't do, and this is important, is revolve. <laughs> That's a no on revolving. Quite honestly, Patrick, sometimes it's like you're trying to operate an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> okay, I think we should be heading off. So we proceed to the clitoris. <laughs> so difficult to find, so elusive. You know, there's something women down the ages have wanted to ask, and perhaps I should just ask it now. Just how difficult to find, just how elusive is front and centre? <laughs> That's not exactly hiding. It doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't pop round the back in all the excitement. <laughs> anyway, that's about it. Or my taxi driver will be getting a teensy bit impatient. Good night. Oh, my bag's just here. <laughs> that went quite well, didn't it? I hope you don't mind a bit of constructive criticism. I mean, we have been at it for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs>